FaceTime keeps showing black screen? Try these 9 fixes. Select the right camera. During a FaceTime call, look for the camera icon on your screen and tap on it. This will switch between the front and rear cameras. Ensure the front camera is active so you can see yourself on the screen. Close unnecessary apps. Swipe from the bottom of the screen to the middle to open the app switcher. On iPhones or iPads with the home button, press it twice. If you find other apps using the camera, close them. Once you've made sure no other apps are using the camera, open FaceTime again and try making a call. Check the camera lens. Ensure your fingers and thumbs are not blocking the camera lens. If you see anything covering the lens, remove it. Sometimes, the problem might be on the other end of the call. Ask the person you're talking to to check if their camera is clear of obstructions. Switch to FaceTime video. Look at your screen while you're on the call. If it's an audio-only call, you'll notice a FaceTime button in the middle. Tap the FaceTime button. It will change your call from audio-only to a video call letting you see the person you're talking to. Restart your device. A simple device restart often solves the issue, as it shuts down all the apps currently running and clears out any minor glitches. Check the internet connection. Make sure your internet connection is strong and stable. If you're using Wi-Fi, try moving closer to your router. This can make the signal stronger and help clear up any video issues on FaceTime. Check the screen time settings. Open settings and go to screen time. Tap on the app limits option. If there's a limit set for FaceTime, you'll see it listed here. Make sure FaceTime is not restricted. If it is, you can change the settings by tapping it and adjusting the allowed time or deleting the limit. Go back to screen time settings and tap content and privacy restrictions. Ensure that FaceTime is not disabled. If it's turned off, switch it on to enable FaceTime, or turn off all restrictions. Update your device. Open Settings. Choose General. Tap Software Update. If there's an update waiting, you'll see two options. You can either download and install right away or choose Install Now if the update has already been downloaded. Reset to factory settings. Resetting your phone to factory settings will erase all your data, so be sure to back up your important files and information beforehand. Open the settings app and go to general. Scroll to the end and tap transfer or reset. Select erase all content and settings. Tap continue. Follow the instructions on the screen to erase your device and set it up again. To enhance security and recover device space on your iPhone, download the Combo Cleaner app. With the internet security feature, Combo Cleaner will protect your web browsing from scams, phishing, malicious downloads, and rogue websites. The password checker lets you see if your password is strong and not easily hackable. This feature will also check the online breaches database and advise if your password is safe. VPN is also included in the app which encrypts traffic and hides your IP. Identity protection allows you to assess if your data has been exposed. You can check if your data was disclosed in a breach. SMS security filters SMS messages that contain malicious links, which can compromise your data. Photo Cleaner can help you quickly identify and remove similar photos and the ones with quality issues. The secure calendar feature scans links in calendar events and notifies you of the rogue ones, protecting your data from theft. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.